Hi, I'm Michelle of Slovenska Kuhinja, and welcome to my Slovenian kitchen. Palacinke. They're a Slovenian-style thin pancake similar to a crepe. Slovenians did not invent them, but they sure are very popular in many European countries. They are deeply ingrained in our everyday Slovenian cuisine. I grew up on them, and my boys just love them too. They've even mastered on how to make them. Although it's an extremely simple recipe to make, it does take a few attempts to master the perfect batter and consistency. In our house, we enjoy eating them for breakfast, lunch, or dessert. They can be filled with sweet or savory fillings. Today, I'm going to share how to enjoy them both ways. Are you ready? Let's get started. We begin by sifting one cup of all-purpose flour. And if you haven't already done it, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great recipes. And now we're gonna get cracking. We need three large eggs. Next, we're gonna need one cup of milk and three quarter cups of mineral carbonated water. And last but not least, a pinch of salt. Now we're just gonna get ready to whisk everything together. You want a really nice smooth batter. I like to whisk by hand, but you can also use a hand mixer or an even easier method is to use a blender. And this is the consistency that we're going to be looking for. Now it's important to let the batter rest at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. And this is going to help produce a thinner, flexible, soft texture. Now we're just going to brush on a little bit of oil into the pan. I like using sunflower oil. We're going to need a third cup of batter. And once you pour the batter into the pan, you're going to want to swirl the pan to help the batter spread. You also want to cook on low to medium heat. And as soon as the crepe starts pulling away from the sides of the pan, it's ready to be flipped. Transfer to a plate, and then we keep cooking until all of the remaining batter is used up. Mmm, palachinka. And now they're ready to be served with the filling of your choice. My personal favorite is with powdered sugar and a drizzle of honey. Another great way is to use the palachinka and put it in a delicious homemade beef broth. My mom used to do this for us all the time growing up and my kids just love it too. So you're just going to roll it up and you're going to slice it up really thin. So it's going to be sort of like the noodle in your soup. And if you haven't tried it, I strongly suggest it. I know it may sound strange to some of you, but it's just one of those comfort foods that brings me right back to my childhood. If you give it a try, I would love to hear your feedback. Leave me a message in the comment section below. Absolutely delicious. An easy recipe for palachinka, Slovenian crepes, with a thin, soft, flexible texture and a crispy edge. It's truly the best recipe using simple ingredients. If you enjoy watching my videos, please give me a great big thumbs up below. Subscribe to my channel 
And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any new recipes. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again next week when I share another delicious recipe from my Slovenska kuhinja. Until then, nazdravje and dobar tek. Adio!